Well, hello again and welcome to This Week in Athletics Slash Technology. I'm Chris Capletti. I'm the Athletic Director and Interim Tech Coordinator. If you see Lupo in and out, he's our school therapy dog. And welcome. So, busy week. Last week we had a really busy week, but it ended up being a lot of snow. So we've had some cancellations, we've had some reschedules. Let's get into it. Well, so, here's what we're going to do. Last Friday night's game, the double header varsity night, girls varsity basketball, boys varsity basketball versus Bolivar Richburg has now been rescheduled to February 12th. That's this Saturday, this coming Saturday at noon and 1.30. Girls, ladies, you will still have senior night this Saturday at noon. It will be at halftime of your game. Uh, I'm sorry, before your game at noon. So parents, please be there at 11.40. Uh, we will have we will celebrate the seniors before cheerleaders. We would also like to do you this uh, Saturday at 11:40. So we have cheerleading and ladies basketball this Saturday 11:40, 11:45, right before the girls varsity basketball game. The boys varsity basketball game will be played at 1:30 after, but some of the gentlemen on the team can't make it, so we have to move that senior night. The game is still happening at 1.30, um, but not everybody can make it. So we are talking with Coach this morning. We're talking, he's talking with the players. Um, stay tuned. I'm not sure. I may have to put something at the end of this video tonight when I'm editing it out, but stay tuned. All right, so this week, busy week. Tomorrow, we have boys JV and varsity uh, basketball versus Genesee Valley at home. Tuesday. Uh, these are only home games with the exception of Tuesday, which I'll talk about. Cheerleading County Championships at Tuesday. Bus at 520, and that's at Fillmore. Good luck, ladies. And speaking of the cheerleaders, congratulations to the cheerleaders. First place at Canisarega Tournament this past weekend. Congratulations, ladies. Great job. Love the first place finish. And... This Thursday, just talking home games now, you can always go to the Cuba Rushford athletic schedule online. It's always up to date. You can see all the cancellations, all the movement. So this Thursday, JV girls basketball and varsity girls basketball versus Wellsville, home, 6 and 7.30. This Saturday, like I just said, we're moving last Saturday, last Friday nights, double header to Saturday noon and 1.30. Cheerleaders and girls basketball will do senior night this Saturday. Gentlemen, boys basketball, we're still looking for a date, maybe tomorrow. Um, you have three home games left. Um, off the top of my head, you have three. You might have four. I think you have three for sure. Um, we have room. We have to find a date that works. All right. So the double JV JV girls basketball, JV boys basketball that was canceled last Thursday has been moved to February 14th. And one of the main reasons I'm here at the Cuba Rushford Elementary School on the awesome indoor track and the beautiful new gym is uh, the game on February 14th, doubleheader, vars, doubleheader JV, will be here. It will be right here. Uh, we will play both games. Parents, you will be allowed to stand on the track all the way around the game and if you want to be on the floor, you can use this whole side here. The other side of the gym, um, I'm not sure if we're going to allow spectator th spectators there or not. We have all week to kind of think about it. Um, I'm not sure. But you can stand all the way around the track, and you can be on this side on the floor. There's not a lot of bleacher room, so we'll have to wait and see. All right, stay tuned for more on that. All right, so... Um, speaking of this, double JVs, February 14th, Valentine's Day, right here. Why are we having it at the Cuba Rush for Elementary? Well, that night, 6 p.m., Boys Varsity is home at the high school versus Hinsdale. So we're busy. Also, on February 15th, we're going to play girls JV and varsity versus Fillmore here at the elementary. Why do you ask? Well, it's a busy time of year. Uh, we are coming out of COVID, knock on wood, hopefully, and we're hosting the annual, it's been away for a couple years, the annual VEX Robotics, CA BOCES VEX Robotics Tournament. And 
at the high school on February 15th, they'll be setting up for the VEX Robotics Tournament. So we're going to play here. This is a beautiful gym, brand new scoreboard, shot clocks, everything we're looking at is new. So let's take advantage of the facilities. Absolutely. And let's not forget this track, this beautiful indoor track is open Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. This is a great track, great facility. We have four outstanding adults that monitor the track on those nights. So come on in. It's minus 10 out or there's 10 feet of snow. Come on in, get a little exercise right here on this track. All right, and you know by looking at me, you still got to wear the mask. All right, we still are under a New York State mask mandate, and we ask that you change your shoes. This is a beautiful indoor walking track. You can't bring your salty boots in and walk on the track, so put your sneakers on. Um, it's warm in here, so see, I got some sweatpants, T-shirt on. I'm just fine right now. Come on in. All right, the pool. Let's not forget about the pool. The pool, Mondays and Thursdays from 3.10 to 4.30, is open for senior swim. So, and this is free. Um, we have lifeguards, we have Mrs. Hardman, who's the instructor. This is a fantastic senior swim on Mondays and Thursdays from 3.10 to 4.30 at the high school pool. And on Monday nights from 6 to 7 p.m., family swim, free of charge. Come on in, let's do some playtime in the pool. Obviously, we have to follow all the pool rules. And when you're not in the water, you have to wear a mask. So does that mean when I'm on the deck and I'm watching my children play, I have to wear a mask? Yes. If you're not physically in the water, you have to wear a mask. All right. Uh, February break for the track and for the pool. Uh, will it be open for the public? Stay tuned. I have to like talk to some people. Uh, we'll figure it out, and you can always find a lot of updates for pool and track on the Cuba Rushford Facebook page. And I'll put the, the link to it here. Uh, it's just Facebook, Cuba Rushford Central School. You can see all the updates. We're always putting stuff on there. This video will be on there. All right, moving along. Modified Athletics. Great job on a great season. Your game that was this past Thursday has been canceled. Your season is finished. Uh, nice season, ladies and gentlemen. You know what time it is? It's time to turn those uniforms back in. So remember, you cannot start spring sports until your uh, uniforms are turned in, and you can't start any sports. If you don't turn it in and you, oh, I don't play a spring sport, I just won't turn my uniform in. Well, you won't play again until you turn your uniform in. Uniforms are very expensive. That's the first lesson I learned as athletic director. Uniforms are very expensive and hard to replace. So turn those uniforms back in. Your coaches need them. Volleyball, gentlemen, fantastic season. Allegheny County champs, undefeated. Great, great season. Um, your season is over. Turn in your uniforms. Turn in those uniforms to Coach Perillo. Uh, he needs those ASAP. All right, on the technology side of things, remember, as a tech department, as students, as teachers, Everyone, we always need to be ready to go virtual. I hope we never go virtual, but make sure your devices are in working order. Make sure your logins are working. Microsoft not working for you? Teams, Word, PowerPoint, any of those not working? Try logging in, logging out. Forgot your login, your username and password? See myself or any member of the tech department and we can help get that password for you. And that, this is for students, staff, teachers, anybody. Uh, logging in, logging out, knowing your password, knowing your user ID, oh, not enough movement. So the lights are turning off on me. I better finish up the video. All right, and every once in a while, it's always good just to restart those laptops, all right? Try to restart those laptops. I'll walk in here a little closer so you can still see me. Um, if you have any questions, teachers keep putting those tickets in. Come see us. We're happy to fix whatever your needs are. Um, Stay safe, stay warm. It's spring is coming. Spring sports signups are up. Sign up, people are signing up. Remember, baseball, softball, track and field, golf and tennis. We got a full slate this spring. So join us out there on the Rebel Athletic Fields, and we'll see you next time right here on This Week in Athletics slash Technology. Take care. Well, hello again. Remember, when we're at the track, we got to kick off those winter boots and put our sneakers on because 
it's really messy outside and it's a messy time of year and we have a beautiful indoor track. Remember, still gotta wear your mask and you gotta put your shoes on. So I grew up with Mr. Rogers, so just thought I'd throw my shoes on. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be my neighbor? It's classic. Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers had a sweater vest. Not the sweater, the zipper sweater. Loved it. It's really nice to always change our shoes and keep things nice. And they don't have to be sneakers per se. We prefer them be sneakers, but just a dry shoe, something you can put on, put your boots right over here off to the side. They'll be nice and safe here and away we'll go. Thanks for using the indoor track. And don't forget, Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., open to the public, free of charge. Come on in. Take care.